This here is my uh, latest little project. It is a uh, removable uh, kayak loader and kayak support that I've made to fit the tow bar on the ute. A uh, reason obviously being that uh, the roof racks up the front are fairly close together, not particularly well suited for a four and a half meter kayak. And so um, I decided if I could do something with the removable tow bar uh, attachment that allowed the back of the kayak to be supported, that would be quite a good thing. Uh, when I got the ute, I deliberately ordered one with a uh, removable tow bar so that I could uh, do something like this for the kayak. Now, uh, fairly straightforward how this all works. I'll, I'll do it. I'll put it on the ute fairly soon, but I'll just quickly show all the bits that I had to buy. So it's made out of four bits of steel. Uh, the first bit that you're obviously going to need is a bit of um, uh, 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter or 2 inch by 2 inch uh, steel that goes inside the removable tow bar bit. Uh, then I've got a uh, piece of uh, uh, probably about 40 millimeter diameter pipe uh, going up there and I've found another and that, that's about 900 millimeters long that one. The one on the left there is about a meter long and it just fits snugly inside the larger diameter tube. And then I've just got some one inch by one inch uh, fin square tubing welded to the top. This is a fairly DIY uh, loader as long as you can pretty much do the welding yourself. If you can't do the welding yourself, probably do quite a lot of it yourself still and then just um, get someone else to, to stick them together for you. Uh, so the other bits that I, that, I, that I had to buy were two of these um, spring locking pins and uh, contact me if you want to know where to buy them in New Zealand they were about seven dollars each or something like that and then just uh, a couple of um, bolts and a few nuts to essentially just um, put some uh, side walls on so that the kayak won't tend to slide off while you're loading, uh, loading it I also put some holes through on the ends so I could if I wanted to use the whole 1.3 meter length of that top bar if I wanted to support some uh, some bits of wood or something like that uh, if I'm bringing them home on the roof racks. And so, uh, the only other thing that I did, so I welded them and then I also um, just had them hot tub galvanized, uh, which is <coughs> pretty much seeing as it's going to be supporting a kayak and also uh, probably going to be a bit of um, rubbing between the two pipes. I figured hot tub galvanizing is probably about the best bet. Uh, the cost for all the steel bits were was about forty dollars. The hot tub galvanizing was another forty dollars, and the the little locking pins probably about twenty if you if you take the locking pins and the bolts and everything. So all up, this is about a hundred dollar project, uh, which has turned out fairly well. So I'll now quickly uh, show some of the features of of this uh, once you put it on the ute. Okay, now I'll quickly demonstrate how to use this uh, DIY kayak loader or how I, how I think it's going to work. So obviously the first step is going to be to insert the, the bottom part into the removable tow bar receptacle and then just use your standard uh, tow bar uh, locking pin to lock it in place. You'll notice on the bottom I have a, uh, I think it's about a 17 or an 18 millimeter hole maybe a 16 in there that basically is in the right position for the um, for the locking pin. Also you'll notice that this has uh, two holes, two 8mm holes all the way through to suit those uh, locking pins. You've got one uh, down, down the bottom and then another one near the top and I'll quickly demonstrate how they work. So first step uh, for loading a kayak would be insert it into the tow bar, lock it in place and then uh, put a locking pin into the uh, lower hole on the on the tube next step is to take the T part and insert that in now the whole structure is usually a bit more rigid when I've got that bottom locking pin in but I didn't bother just for this demonstration so I will now uh, slide the top of the T in and you'll notice that when that sits down on that locking pin it actually makes the top of the T um, at the same height as the uh, roof racks on the car which is what you want so let's get that okay.
Okay, so now you will notice that I've got the, the T uh, facing to the front and rear of the vehicle. And what you would now normally do is uh, load the rear of your kayak onto that while the other end is sitting on the ground. Then, um, then basically uh, strap the rear of the kayak in so that the kayak won't tend to fall off the support and then uh, pick up the front of the kayak and walk around the vehicle with the kayak and just put it straight on top of the roof rack and then once you have that um, face or parallel with the back of the car then you put the second locking pin in to lock it into place like I'll show now Uh, now that structure is uh, is locked in place parallel to the back of the car. It looks like it's on the lean a little bit, but that's just because I haven't got that bottom pin in. And uh, it shouldn't matter anyway with the um, with the little bolts that I've got in there that uh, lock it. Uh, well, that will prevent the, the kayak basically from sl sliding around. But you definitely want to strap the back onto that anyway. Now the second uh, use for this thing is if you. Um, wanted to carry some bits of wood or something in the back of the vehicle that stick out over the back but you don't want them to rest on your tailgate then I've made this so that you can drop it down and use the the second set of holes on the big T to actually lock that in place as well so I'll demonstrate that now Uh, so that's uh, that's basically it. Now, of course, the the last thing that I won't bother showing is that I've made this in such a way that when I'm finished, I can pull that out of the tow bar, turn the top T uh, 90, 90 degrees again from where it is now, and the whole thing uh, just fits like that in the back of the Ute, uh, which is on the on the on the rear of the Ute, which is um, which is fairly convenient. So yeah, that's uh, basically my um, DIY. Uh, tow bar support kayak loader.